Few Swiss cities excite visitors as much as Lucerne. With its lakeside location at the foot of Mount Pilatus, Lucerne is a real gem. In this picturesque city, the landscape and architecture blend in true harmony. The Zietturm is where Lucerne's oldest clock rings the hour. It is one of nine towers gracing the Musaic city wall. This fortification bears witness to the city's long history. In the 14th century, this wall protected Lucerne from enemy attacks. Thanks to the Gotthard Pass, Lucerne has been an important trading center since the early 13th century. The improved access brought traders from all over Europe to Lucerne and the City of Lights became an important stop on the north-south axis. The Chapel Bridge, Europe's oldest wooden bridge, dates back to the 14th century. Along with the octagonal water tower, it shapes Lucerne's cityscape. The Lion Monument was built in memory of the Swiss soldiers who were killed defending French King Louis XVI in 1792. American author Mark Twain once described it as the saddest and most moving piece of stone in the world. In the Glacier Garden, you'll find impressive evidence of the last ice age. It's an exciting place to learn how the landscape around Lucerne was formed. The Museum of Transport is Switzerland's most visited museum and Europe's most varied museum devoted to transport. Twelve exhibit halls showcase the development of mobility via land, water and air. Unique objects interactive exhibits and many attractions fascinate both young and old. The Museum of Transport is also home to Switzerland's only IMAX cinema. With more than 200 important paintings and drawings by over 20 famous masters of the 19th and 20th centuries, the Rosengart collection attracts visitors from all over the world. Angela Rosengart was friends with many artists. In fact, Pablo Picasso painted her portrait five times. Swiss food isn't the only option in Lucerne. There's also a wide array of restaurants serving tasty international cuisine. The Grand Casino Lucerne offers fun, games and excitement. In addition to international gaming, it also hosts cultural events such as art exhibitions, fashion shows, concerts and comedy evenings. Great entertainment, guaranteed. Lucerne, the city of renowned festivals. Whether it's the Blue Balls Festival, the World Band Festival or the Lucerne Festival, music fans flock to the City of Lights to enjoy musical highlights of every style. However you approach the KKL, Lucerne's culture and convention center, the lake and landscape are reflected in the building's facade and roof. These reflections of form and color vary depending on the light and the time of day. Fascinating, just like the building itself, which was designed by French architect Jean Nouvel. Every year, Lucerne hosts the Rose d'Or, an international television entertainment festival. The Rotsee is the scene of many national and international rowing competitions. Because of its idyllic location, it's known as the Lake of the Gods among rowing fans. During the Lucerne Marathon, Athletes cross the lake bridge four times and run some 42 kilometers around the city. The chapel bridge links Lucerne's new part of the city with its historical part, the old town. Here, charming storefronts and shop windows invite visitors to go for a stroll and do some shopping. 
Lucerne's boutiques offer something for everyone in fine, attractive, elegant and original shops. Very classy, Lucerne is famous for its variety of shops and proud of its exquisite boutiques with their world-famous watch and jewellery brands. With its magnificent environment, Lucerne is the ideal business city. Where better to meet and work? Lucerne is the perfect place to combine business with pleasure. Thanks to its central location, Lucerne is easy to reach via train, car or plane. From Zurich Airport, the trip is just one hour. It's 1,629 spectacular meters from Alpnachstad to the summit of Mount Pilatus. An exciting experience. This means a climb of up to 48% on the steepest cogwheel train in the world. An untiring pioneer spirit plus the technology of the times made it possible. This remarkable railway opened in June 1889. The nation of Switzerland was founded on the banks of Lake Lucerne in the heart of the Alpine country. According to playwright Friedrich Schiller, national hero William Tell led Switzerland to freedom. A monument honoring Tell was installed in Altdorf, Canton Uri in 1895. Thanks to perfect tourism infrastructure, adventure is certain and recovery guaranteed. The Lake Lucerne region is an outdoor paradise. What would the Lake Lucerne region be without beautiful Lake Lucerne stretching across it? In Lucerne, step on board one of the five nostalgic paddle steamers and take a cruise of discovery. It's astonishing to observe such a variety of landscapes in such a short time. Every stop is a surprise. The captain and his team invite you to be pampered on board one of their stately steamers. The idyllic towns of Vekis, Witznau and Greppen lie on Lake Lucerne's Riviera on the sunny Mount Rigi side. These towns are ideal starting points for mountain and lake excursions. The railway covering the 1,313 meters from Witznau to the top of Mount Rigi was Europe's first cogwheel train. It was built in 1871. But Rigi was already famous before then. Its uniquely gentle landscape and marvelous views have earned it the name Queen of the Mountains. Lucerne at night. Illuminated lakeside hotels and other buildings lent Lucerne a special and mysterious appeal. In winter, the city has a quiet atmosphere, at least until carnival time. But soon, it's back to daily business and Lucerne belongs to those who prefer a quieter lifestyle. If boards mean everything, then it must be winter in the heart of Switzerland. Lake Lucerne region has 18 winter sport resorts. From Titlis Engelberg's 12 km ski slope with its 2,000 meter height difference to the 8 km toboggan trail from Melchseefrut to Stöckalp. Passing the picturesque villages of Sempach and Willisau, the journey goes on to Entlebuch, a biosphere reserve of the UNESCO. Lake Lucerne region is also a winter paradise. Lucerne looks forward to welcoming you.